the second acid trip flash back into the dream that he had out in the jungle when the trees he sees a dozen skeletal frames in the wind this sways within the bamboo cages holding the remains of the animal cannibal tribes victims who die cannibalized and made into a ritual tomb and moonlight it seems like deja vu jake thinks to himself this can't be happening now he tries to scream help but nothing's coming out of his mouth no sound he can't even hear his own voice then he looked around now he was back in his house he flicked his eyes when he opened them up he saw linda standing besides the priest with the skeleton mask the god of death of the aztecs holding her neck jake tried to awake out of this nightmare that's surreal at best so what happened to linda is what we'll find out next out of the dreamscape that became a nightmare as if it's right there in his face he couldn't prepare to find out what really happened to his lover the night that he lost his mother did he suffer a schizophrenic rage inherited by his dad that was worse than by a acid pill trip to make a body back his old girl by cheating on him with his best friend we're getting closer to the credits at the film set now jake's bugging out to the effects of the acid trip messing with his head as the walls in his home bled blood red deeper than argento's mind gets painting a picture visually jake sees horror just beautifully captured at the moment of death he saw how the cannibal tried to sort of divergent as an offer urgent the cannibal got from the mountain to see Suffering, but it was done for nothing, so they killed the kids and cooked them and made Jake vomit and sit to his stomach. Hoping Linda is alive and not sacrificed by the tribe to the god of death. By the skeleton priest, he believes she's still alive, breathing with a pulse and heartbeat. Besides, he thinks he's getting closer to her whereabouts. Jake looked upon the floor and what he saw was some blood and gore. And next to that's a blood trail that leads into the basement and led to the wall adjacent to Jake, who's in awe. Out of the dreamscape. That became a nightmare as if it's right there in his face He couldn't prepare to find out what really happened to his lover The night that he lost his mother Did he suffer a schizophrenic rage inherited by his dad That was worse than by a acid pill trip to make a body back His old girl by cheating on him with his best friend We're getting closer to the credits at the film's end See the fucking dream? Or did it really happen?